Hi, Brad from WPSites.net, Solutions for WordPress. Uh, this video tutorial is about how to set up and configure the, uh, the options for the all-in-one SEO pack for WordPress, which is the most popular uh, SEO plugin for WordPress. It's been downloaded over 9 million times. It's a fairly simple uh, all-in-one uh, plugin. Uh, it doesn't really cover all the SEO uh, features, so it's, uh, in my opinion, it's a great plugin for beginners, but it's really not uh, an all-in-one SEO plugin like uh, Yoast. Uh, WordPress SEO by Yoast offers a lot more features, significantly more features. Uh, the all-in-one SEO doesn't offer 301 redirects on each page. It doesn't offer a built-in sitemap, which is very, very important for uh, for search engine optimization, for, for making sure all your content, all your pages and posts are indexed. But it is, if, if you're just starting out and, and you're theme, you're using a free theme or a premium theme and it doesn't include many SEO features, then this is a very good plugin to start with. You can also um, easily transfer to a more sophisticated plugin down the track. Uh, without losing any, uh, any of your SEO, so uh, I, I've written a full, uh, entire, very comprehensive uh, blog post on it recently, recently, which covers every different SEO feature that the All-in-One SEO pack offers. Uh, but now I'll just uh, I'll, I'll go through it again. So once you've uh, located uh, the All-in-One SEO pack plugin and installed it. Uh, you will get a little red or, um, warning up the top here. I've already... Uh, I, 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 I don't have it because I've, uh, I'm not actually using the plugin. But so once you've installed it and activated the plugin, you'll get this red uh, notice box here. So you need to go to the admin page and, uh, and configure it. Once you get past all this stuff here, um, you need to enable it. Okay, so that's the first thing to do. Just check the enable button. You can update options, and the red uh, warning box is gone. So uh, now we can have a look at the options. Now it's very important here to put in a, a very descriptive uh, home title. Uh, so in my case, it'd be uh, WP Sites um, Solutions for WordPress. You don't want to stuff this full of keywords. Basically, you just want a descriptive uh, title, um, just your, your home title, which describes basically the overall topic of your site, and also a tagline, which in my case is Solutions for WordPress. But don't don't stuff it full of keywords. Uh, because it'll basically just dilute the uh, the main focus keyword of your site. So uh, keep that fairly short. Now you also want a home description in here. So in my case, it'd be um, WP Sites offers uh, tutorials and how tos. About WordPress, about everything WordPress, uh, including themes, plugins, and SEO. So keep, try to keep that under about 160, 170 characters because that's all that will be included in the uh, in the search engine snippet. And uh, this will this will show up in the search engine results. Now, as far as the keywords go, um, the Google's already publicly stated they don't use the keywords. I know there's a lot of tutorials and videos out there saying to put keywords in there, um, but it's really not going to make any difference because Google doesn't use them. But if you want, you can put in a few different uh, a few different keywords in there. I don't think it's really going to make any difference whatsoever. If you click on any of these here, you'll see uh, more of a description about what they're wanting inside the field, inside the box. 
can a canonical uh, URLs keep that checked? Uh, rewrite titles. This will uh, rewrite the the different uh, titles. Um, you don't want to keep these at the default here. This one here for post title format is uh, post title and blog title. So as an example. Um, if, if I left that by default, this will include both the post title and the blog title, which in this case would be all in one SEO pack for WordPress, most popular SEO plugin, and then it also have WordPress site solutions for WordPress on the end. So that's not what you really want because each, each post or page title needs to be unique. So you don't want to keep this the way it is. You want to delete this and just use the post title format and the same for pages. So that way every title for your posts and page is totally unique. All the other ones here you can keep the way they are. SEA for custom post types. If you've got custom post types built into the theme or you've added a plugin and added your own customization using custom post types, you can check this here. Um, and you can use it for both posts and pages. Um, if you've started, uh, if you've created a Google Analytics account, um, put the ID in here. And uh, if, if you're new and you don't know where to get it from, I'll show you. Once you've created a Google Analytics account, I'll go into the old version. They're asking for a profile ID there, which will be this. This is a profile ID for one of my sites. So you can just put that in there. And, uh, and that'll save you adding the, uh, the Google Analytics tracking code to your, uh, to your template pages and posts. Uh, so that's a lot easier way to do it. Uh, use categories for meta keywords. No, leave that, leave that by default. Um, th these are different options here. You probably really don't have to worry about when you're first starting out. You can you can pretty much leave leave these as default. Uh, this is about no indexing uh, categories, no indexing archives. Uh, it's probably better to no index categories because you're going to have your individual posts uh, indexed anyway. So you don't want duplicate content there. Uh, exclude pages, you can exclude pages. Uh, now here's a few different options here but which you really won't be looking at when you're first starting out. So, so these are the main ones here. The the, uh, the title tags, what they call the post title format and the page title format. Make sure you change these and you're only going to use the post title and the page title. And they'll all be unique and that way you won't cop any duplicate uh, penalties from uh, Google. So once you've all that, or once you've done that, just click on Update Options, and, and that's pretty much it. I've uh, I have written a fair bit more about uh, about all the other options if you're interested, uh, which you can read on my posts. So, and I've also placed links to um, to setting up. Uh, Google Analytics as well, so if you haven't done that, you'll find a link on this post as well, and then it'll explain how to, uh, how to set up uh, Google Analytics. So there you have it, there's the, uh, the all-in-one SEO pack plugin, it's a very popular plugin, but I think it, one of the main reasons it's been downloaded so many times is because it was included in every WordPress installation by default, so people just started using it. Uh, but the, the actual, actually the original creator of all in one the SEO pack um, now has uh, created his own plugin called WordPress SEO by Yoast and, uh, and I've written an entire blog post on that I, I use the plugin myself uh, you'll find a link at the bottom of this post here it is here, WordPress SEO by Yoast it's a lot more uh, featured uh, SEO plugin that's got a lot more options, SEO options. You probably wouldn't need them if, if, if you're a beginner. 
uh, but there's certain things that I need to use that I really like in it, like the site map that saves me adding another plugin for the site map. I've got quite a few three hour one redirects because I've made some changes uh, and that's the reason I use that. If you're using uh, if you're using a theme like the thesis theme for WordPress, you really don't need these SEO plugins because the thesis theme has built in SEO features so you're really not going to get any benefit by using uh, an SEO plugin unless it, unless it includes a feature that thesis doesn't already include so uh, this is basically uh, it's a good plugin for um, if you're using a theme that doesn't just doesn't offer the SEO, SEO features you need to fully optimize your site but the most important things are uh, your titles. These are the most powerful part of uh, SEO, your home page title and your individual post and page titles. So these should all be unique. They should be highly relevant to the overall topic of your site and the content within your page should, post should be totally related to the keywords uh, and the description of your, your post or your page. So that's it. Good luck and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.